I am like so close to it. Hello, I am Justin, and today we have a big day because we have the Ivory Dream Wings collection, which is an ultra edition, not an exclusive, and uh, this is pretty crazy. I'm sure you guys have seen clips of it on Twitter or wherever. There is a ton of stuff to sort of talk about with this. This collection has 16 items in total, five skins in total, five cards in total, five titles in total, and one buddy. And this uh, also has variants depending on what variant you're using it with, so kind of more stuff, even in that regard. It is kind of weird now that I look at it. There's no spray. They they just didn't include a spray with this, and I don't really get that. That's weird. This is an ultra edition. Where's the spray? This is going to be available for 20 days, but today we're going to buy it. We're going to upgrade every single item of this, and we're going to go and show off everything. Because, like I said, there is truly a lot of stuff to show with this. Let's buy it. Wow. We have a lot of stuff to favor. Let's favorite all of it. Nice. Alrighty, here we are in the inventory. There is five skins in total. It's interesting because the base variant for every single item is a different variant, which is actually just kind of crazy to think about in retrospect. For the ghost, the base variant is pink. For the specter, the base variant is green. For the vandal, the base variant is purple. And for the Odin, the base variant is orange. I think that's a really cool concept for them to do. Honestly though, we're just really not gonna talk about this. We're gonna upgrade all of it. Then we're gonna go and do a showcase of it. So let's do that first. And also before we do that, we are gonna show this in just level one. Level one. Interesting to note that right click, this is the animation with right click with us. So left click and right click are the exact same animation. Left click, right click. That's kind of weird. And uh, yeah, this kind of just turns it into like a scepter, but um, left click, right click. That's weird that this doesn't have like the ax animation. All right, let's upgrade all of it. We're going to go in order of what I think should be upgraded first. We're gonna start with the vandal here. Nice. Next, we're going to do the ghost. Cool. Next, we're going to do the spellcaster, the wand. Just one upgrade. And then really, it's got to either or with the specter or the Odin. I'm going to do the specter next because you probably use that more. Lastly, we have the Odin. So we have a pretty cool little selection of skins here. They are all different because they all start with a different variant, which again, is just so cool in my opinion. All right, there is a lot of stuff to look at with all this. We are going to go into a custom with somebody and we are going to test all this stuff out. Listen to A sound effects. We're gonna show off like a lot of little details with it and the brandishing and all that good stuff. This is already kind of crazy. Here's the pullout. <laughs> like just like the sounds, listen to the sounds. This is kind of a ridiculous item. Here's some swings. It looks like Ozu is on your screen when it like kind of explodes like that. And then you cast a little spell there. Um, yeah, so we have everything equipped right now, fully upgraded, like I said. We're going to go show off the ace and finishers and all that good stuff. Um, first thought that I just want to say about this real quickly is that the melee is like really jutted out right in front of your face i understand that it's transparent but like this is a little bit distracting because look at how close this is to the crosshair <laughs> like i don't know dude but yeah here we are here we have our good friend neon here setting everything up we're on a nice open map because this is sort of like singularity in terms of the finisher with singularity a lot of people don't know this. they look at the black hole with that and they don't realize that there's a constellation that forms around it so when we do it with this the entire sky is going to form a constellation whereas with singularity it sort of just does like a dome of it but yeah, we have uh, the Vandal on right now. That is just absolutely demented that this, this is in this game, in like a good way. The ghost. Like, it's insane. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, so if you look at the little... Uh, critter there on top of the gun it like does stuff every time you do anything which is kind of crazy he even falls asleep look see there he is he's, he's sleeping 
Wake your little ass up. <laughs> Apparently, if you updraft and float, it does stuff as well. <laughs> See, like, the little head kind of floats there, too. Which is interesting. <laughs> See, it's just like, it's little details with this that are just kind of, you know. But, uh, again, we're going to look at everything. Let's go and look at the kill banner now. Last one down. Yeah, like this is just crazy. And again, like even like the floor here is kind of like the uh like the green screen effect. Like this is I feel like this is what the spray probably would have been um before this despawns. I'm going to fly to it. Look at how far away it all is. It's just everywhere. I'm going to the the doggo. I'm gonna touch it. We're going for it. I really wish there was a way I could fly faster. Also, my hands are losing all of their color. So is this. Here's the black version of the Ivory skins. I am, like, so close to it. Oh, I'm behind it. Oh, you can actually kind of see. So, yeah, no. The, it's the same thing as Singularity. Where Singularity creates, like, a very small dome around the finisher, like, for it. This does the same thing. It is just way, way, way larger. Which is kind of crazy. It's gone. That's yeah, pretty cool. I have a black wand. It's like the evil wand. Okay, I'm going to go back now. Alright, we're going to try it with some other weapons here. We're going to start with the Spectre, and then obviously we have the Ghost as well. See, look, he floats. He floats, but I float. Cool. But, um, yeah, another little side note as well. I forgot to kind of touch base on it. So, there the buddy is. It's pink. Also, you can just spam this, which is kind of weird. Um, if we look at the Vandal's buddy, um, again, it changes with the variant, you know. This is an interesting thing to spam. Okay, anyways. Here the Spectre is. And see, the finisher also changes as well because everything... Um, the first finisher was the color of the Vandal. Like these... This is sort of like the Aurora Borealis here, you know? Like the sky is green because we're using the green variant. Pretty easy to understand, I would say. I dig it, though. This is kind of, like, just a really crazy skin set, like, all in all. Again, there he is sleeping. Here's a full animation of this little guy. See, it's all pink now. Also, I know that I haven't shown the reloads yet. I'm just so enamored with all of this, like, finisher and, like, sort of secondary stuff. Like, the peripheral things that we see. I'm going to show the uh, reloads and all that. Don't you worry. This is just crazy to look at right now. Ugh. All right. We are going to show the Odin last, and then we're going to show all the reloads for everything. It's floating. It's insane. This is just an insane item. I think out of all of these, I think the orange one is like the least noticeable. Like you can hardly tell that the sky is orange, which obviously because it's more of a brighter color. It's pretty cool though. Okay, let's take a look at these reloads now. So here the Odin is. That is just insane. Even the firing sound with this is nutty, dude. Listen to that again. You can't even hear the bullets hitting the wall, which is just insane. Here the ghost is.
Vandal time. I think they did a really great job with the sounds with this because uh, so certain skins, when you use them, you can still sort of hear the bass sound effect underneath all of it, which is kind of, uh, it could be annoying in certain instances. And I think with this, like, you cannot hear the sounds of the Vandal whatsoever. Like, this is like an entirely different sound. Like, they took out the Vandal sound with this. You can hear it sort of speed up there as well, listen. Like, the pitch of the firing gets higher the longer that you fire. Pretty cool. Alright, we got one thing left to look at. You hear that? Wow. It sounds like little water droplets. Oh, wow, wow. And then, yeah, we just have the wand, which you kind of already showed. Let's see, what does this leave on the wall? A cut mark. Interesting. So apparently when you're hitting somebody with this, you're cutting them. Cool. All right, now we have another little Easter egg to show off here, and that is when you're on the same team with somebody. So I'm going to swap teams, and we're going to end game, game phase. I'm going to give you the skins, and um, there's like a little Easter egg that happens apparently when both of us have the skins. So here, um, take whatever you want. So I guess it like sparkles when we're like, when we both have it. Okay, so you can see this isn't sparkling when we are when I don't have an ally that has the same item with us. The buddy just stays the same, no sparkles whatsoever. Here it is, no sparkles again. Now we swap teams. Thirty seconds left. And see, it's sparkling again. Gotta go. Pretty neat. And again, it, it sparkles according to like to the variant as well. Well, I thank you so much for helping me record all this stuff. Do you have anything that you would like to say to the people at home? That's good. I'm going to show everything in left-handed mode without saying anything. Let's do it now. Okay, so the Dream Wings collection, is it worth it? I would say this is a five out of five in basically every way that you can look at it. Like the weapon choices don't even matter because of how good the skins are. And if we had to pick something that is the weakest point of this, what is the weakest point of this? Maybe the wand is the weakest point. I don't know because it's it's sort of like plain. It has the least going on for it in terms of everything that there is with this. And like, it's not to say that there should be like more going on with it. It just sort of is what it is. It's not bad at all. It's really great. It's awesome actually. But like everything else is just so like booked to the brim with stuff that this does and like interesting little details and it's all different colors. 
you know, like, it's just so good that when you look at the wand, it's sort of the most plain item from this entire thing. Five out of five, though, for me, for sure. The buddy's really cool, too. Let's not forget that little Easter egg that it does. As well, it's just a good buddy. Even if there was no Easter egg with it, it's just a cool little buddy. We're going to speedrun, go through all this stuff. Where we find stuff to comment about, we're going to comment about it. Let's begin right now. We're not even going to go yet. This is a crazy skin. I really like this, and I feel like they're increasing the quality of the battle passes, like, quite a bit. This is just interesting. Like, it's not like that it's a great skin or anything. Like, it's cool, but it's just interesting to say the least. It's uh, the Bumble Brigade. This is pretty interesting because it sort of has shades of Couture from the very first Battle Pass. It's honestly kind of exactly the same. Hold on. Couture. That's the same, isn't it? I don't think that this has variants. Let's keep going. Okay, now we have to stop here for a second. The Bubble Pop Judge... This is going to be something, like, to be, like, it's going to be really popular because it has the, um, the anime girl on it, so to speak. I don't know, um, I don't know if this is just, like, uh, from League of Legends or, like, it's actually just, like, some unique thing for the game or whatever. But people have been asking for anime stuff on this game for years and years and years. And, like, we've sort of gotten it in many different forms. I think that this will probably be really popular. And we're going to go and look right now. This does, in fact, have variants. So, uh, there is the boy version, which that's pretty cool, red and white, and then we have the girl version, which is, like, sort of supposed to be the fun, like, poppy version. Okay, this looks insane. I, like, this is probably the most I've ever paused doing one of these battle pass, like, reactions. I, there's just so much to look at with this. Like, look at how, like, honey that is. It's melting. That's insanely cool. I think they did a good job with this stuff, for sure. The Vandal for the Bubble Pop stuff, which is really cool. Um, I'm actually pretty excited for this. I think they did a really good job, and I'm sure you guys have all seen it by now, uh, because they're doing the uh, rollouts for the stuff in a really weird order. Like, the Battle Pass stuff comes out first, and the day after will be the new skin set. Uh, this is awesome. I like this a lot, and it's going to be really popular, like I said. And if we go and look at the Vandal... Look at the variant. It's cool, dude. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like a his and hers kind of thing. I think they're sort of trying to really lead into the e-dating thing, which is very smart of them. I think it's gross. I think that people should probably, probably just keep it in the Discord server. But, uh, you know, whatever. I've noticed with this, uh, I'm going to call it out now, the Bubble Pop stuff does not have the male version for all the peripheral items. So it has the variant on the skins. But you'll see here, there's a card. We go forward. There's this. Maybe this changes with the skin. I don't know. We'll, we'll go test that out. But there's not the boy version for any of the peripheral stuff. And I don't really get that. It's kind of sad. And then we have the bat. This has multiple variants, the two red and blue variants, which is cool. Uh, I'm really excited for this one. I always really like the uh, sort of club variants in this, so I'm excited. This would be a good unlock for sure. Cool battle pass. I really like it. I don't know if it's the best one that they've ever done, but this is really, really solid. Definitely like a four out of five for me. Okay, so I have a theory. We're going to try something out. We're going to go to this variant of this, and then we're going to go to the buddies. Yeah, so it's sad. So the buddy doesn't change with the new skin, unfortunately. It should. It really should change to the guy's face, but whatever. At least it matches this. With that being said, I love you guys so much. As always, I'm Justin, and you're not. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and leave a comment down below, and let me know how you guys are feeling about the new patch, how you're feeling about console valor, and how you're feeling about just anything that's going on with the game in general right now. I'd love to hear it. We have a lot of really cool stuff coming out very soon. Do stay tuned for that. I will see you in the next one.